Hi, Montana Air Gunner here again. On this video, we're gonna go through some uh, thoughts on modifications that I'm gonna have on this gun and uh, what I'm hoping to achieve with those small modifications. So yeah, let's go over through some, some things that I had in mind. So the first thing is to have a have this gun regulated because it's not a regulated gun and I think that's the biggest con contributor to the accuracy and uh, the consistency on the velocity on shots and of course there's like you know other things concerning the action it has to be like cleaned properly and everything like that and everything needs to be in balance but the biggest thing is to have it moderated and uh I'm going to have a Huma regulator on the air reservoir and uh, for other people if, if you want to use a Huma regulator uh, you can just buy one and I would recommend uh, having having a, a power plenum on it so it, it has a bigger capacity of air on it and uh, you can have it have the regulators preset at the factory and uh, hopefully you know what the wanted uh, pressure on it is. Uh, I pretty much know what mine is going to be. It's on the 140 to 160 bar area. Uh, what I'm also gonna have is have a bigger air reservoir on this. So this is to my understanding 160, 165 cc bottle on this one. And the idea would be to have a bigger bottle, 250 cc bottle. And uh, yeah, you can just buy one from Hatsan and uh, buy the valve for it. If you don't want to use your valve, you, that what you already have uh, for the modification. And that's, that's what I'm actually going to do. And... Uh, the next thing is to have a longer barrel. This is a 20 inch barrel. So the barrel ends on stock here, pretty much. And uh, I want to have at least 60 centimeter barrel, which is 20, 25 inches or something like that. And then uh, the most optimal would be to have a 70 centimeter barrel, which is a 30 inch barrel. And uh, hopefully we can, we can get the 30 inch barrel done on this one. Mm, on the future too, uh, I'm gonna have a better scope on this, uh, but that's that's up up to my uh, bank balance. There, if you wanna have a proper one, you have to spend a little bit more. And I have been already looking a little bit about Athlon Myers Tactical or then a was it Bushnell Pro series which is like the nrl 22 scope uh for the base class so that's 449 msrp and it goes just just nicely into the base class on nrl 22 and for the future i'm gonna have this uh transfer port open which goes here uh to 180,000, and uh the idea for that one is to have the maximum airflow coming from the air cylinder to the uh, actual part of the barrel and just to have a nice clean, clean uh, pass for the air. And with that, when you don't have any bottlenecks or anything, you can, you can have a much better uh, efficiency for the use there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, for the future, uh, I was thinking too to just have a very nice uh, cleaning for the action. Uh, possibly have a adjustable pellet probe here. That's still in the thinking if I want to do that, maybe. I don't know. But then just have a dry uh, graphite lube on this action because I live in an area very it's uh, very hot in the summer and very cold in the winter so i think the wet dew is not working that well on, on 
act on my situation with this gun. Yeah, and those are the things for the future to be done.